Let us open our Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 1 to 10. Okay? Uh, let us read the verses uh, responsively. I will read the first verse, you read the second verse, and we will read together in verse 10. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Okay? For us, for us touching the ministering to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you, verse 2. Yet have I said, brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf, that, as I said, ye may be ready. Therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty, whereof ye had noticed before that the same might be ready as a master of bounty, matter of bounty, and that as of covetousness. But this I say, he would so certainly shall reap also certainly, and he would so bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may amount to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Together, now we that minister seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. May you please open also your Bible and we will read this. You follow me with your eyes while you are there. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. Ephesians 5 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? The title of the message this morning is from Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. Give thanks and give generously unto God. Alam ko, kayo mga nagbibigay. Marami akong nakita mga bagong development si Church since uh, uh, last year. Bago yung sahig, napakaganda. Siguro dahil yan sa pagbibigay. Uh, bagong may TV kayo, wow, napakaganda. Amen. May mga bagong mga mukha which hindi ko sila nakita yung pumunta ko dito I think August or August ba? I think July. Uh, or hindi July, May. May mga bagong mukha. Nag-preach ako last time, I think, about soul winning. And it's good you are. We are still having the soul winning in our church. Kasi hindi naman mapupuna ang church natin. At hindi ito uh, lalaki at lalaki ko lang soul winning. The secret of the growth of the church is soul winning. Okay? But this morning, I really would want to uh, give this message about give thanks and give generously unto God. Okay? Alam natin na kung mahal natin ang isang tao, nagbibigay tayo, right? Diba? When we love other person, okay, in the biblical sense, we, we will be willing to give to meet the person's need. And this is not giving someone a gift just because we think they will enjoy it. Like a birthday gift. Meron tayo pang ina, pagpasa ko, wow, kung tamang-tamang message, by birthday, by dedication pala. That's good, okay? We give something to our wife because giving is an expression of love, right? Amen. Amen. Giving is an expression of love. We give something, rose, chocolate, cake, dress, or whatever, as an expression to the person we love, right? Diba, no? Totoo. Totoo yan, okay? But Jesus illustrated the concept of loving a neighbor by describing a Samaritan who found a man who had been bitten and robbed. He tended the man's woods, took him to an inn, and offered to pay for his father's needs. Jesus said, we should go and do likewise. Love leads to give to meet a need. Pag mahal mong isang tao, bibigyan mo yun, kahit mahal. Di ba, Pastor Jorim? Okay. Ganyan si Jorim sa kay 
Uh, Jezreel, ganun din naman si Jezreel kay Jereen. Okay? Kahit ako, mahal ko ng asawa ko, binibili ako ng damit. Okay? Ang pinakaganda na damit, napakagandang damit, ang pipiliin ko kahit mahal. Wow. That is an expression of love. Right? As a friend, at para anak ko na si Pastor Jureen, pag anong sinabi niya, sa sisigapin ko, bibilihin ko yan. Itim na bag, iba, ibibigay ko yan. Nakalimutan namin ni Brother David makuha yung bag. Sabi ko kay Brother David, paalis kami, puntahan mo, sigurado ko, andun yung bag. Nadala. That is what we call an expression of love. Amen? Given, giving is an expression of love. And because of God's love to men, He gave His only begotten Son, right? And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have an everlasting life. That is an expression of love that no one can do, right? <laughs> May makakagawa ba na ibigay niya ang kanyang anak sa tao? Hindi, wala. Ang Panginoon lang ang, nag ang gumawa niyo. Amen? Now, that is what we call unconditional love. The kind of love that God has shown to us is unconditional. Unconditional. Real love is giving, is giving that any human being can do. If we say we love God, we can't, we can't but give Him what He gave to us. Lahat naman na meron tayo dito galing sa Diyos. Right? Lahat na meron tayo sa buhay natin is from God. And thank God, binigyan niya tayo ng meron tayo ngayon to enjoy. But as we enjoy, let us also give something to our God. Romans 5, it says, But God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ, di Christ died for us. The question this morning is, do we really love God? You know, you can answer that in the privacy of your heart. I know that all of us here loves the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. And as God bless us, we also have to do more. So, what are we going to do now? We say we love God. Do you love God? Amen. If we love God, we have to do something. Number one, let us give thanks and give gifts in the ministry of God. This is the ministry of God, I tell you. Hindi ito ministry yun ni Pastor Jeremiah. This is the ministry of God. Binigay lang sa inyo si Pastor Jeremiah ng Panginoon to lead you, to teach you, to exhort you from the Word of God. Right? Hello? Ephesians 4, 11 to 12. Ephesians 4, 11 to 12. Okay? And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Pasalamat kayo. We have to thank the Lord. Binigyan kayo ng hindi lang wak pastor. Right? Energetic pastor with a good voice. But he, God gave you a pastor who cares for your soul. Mula pa nung nag-classmate kami, Talagang sasabi, sabi ko, Lord, gagamitin mo itong taong ito. May mga pinagdalan kami niya. Thank God. Nandito yung classmate namin. Nang first year kami. But you know, we have to thank God because God gave you a pastor to teach you, to train you. Ibang training niya sa training ko. Ako, I am very strict. In our church, I want to see everything organized. I want to see everything clean, in order, in the ministry. Because as I always said, we have the great God. And the, the one who, has, who we are serving is the great God. So we have to serve Him the best that we can. God give you a pastor. And I thank Him for His leadership in this church. Hello? Bahal niyo bang Panginoon? Bahal niyo ang pastor niyo. I thank the Lord for the members of this church. Okay, that pastor that you have to give that pastor a gift. I thank God for Brother David who give gifts during my birthday. Remembering the man of God is really a blessing from God. Uh, Do you give something to your pastor? Amen. This is the ministry of God. This is not ours, but God. 
In Psalm 24 verse 1 it says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Kasama tayo doon, right? When we are the property or our the, the one who owns us is God, so we have to give God our best, the best. Amen? In the ministry, kailangan yung mag-serve, kailangan natin mag-serve talo sa Panginoon. And so let us invest everything in the ministry. Amen? Amen. Let us invest everything in the ministry. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. Go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 to 7. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Let us give thanks and give gifts in the ministry. I know we be became mong regalo sa Panginoon sa ministry. Not only, it is not only in terms of money, my brethren. It is in all aspects of our life. We can give our life as a gift. As a gift to God. Amen? Kasi kung pera lang ang pag-uusapan natin, yung pera mo na yan, mauubos yan. By the way, salamat sa pag-pray niyo sa aking asawa. When she got sick, have that angioplasty. Sabi ko, Lord, where I am going to get that? Nine thousand dollars. Oh my. I called to my friend. My, one of my close friends who, who stayed with us in the ministry there in Vietnam. And she said, My friend, ngayon ka pa ba magdududa? Is this the time for you to doubt the power of God? I have been in the ministry where you are leading and God provided everything. Now, Kapa hindi magtitiwala. God supplied everything by God's grace. Amen? So in return, we have to give our best. Our best gift. Before kami lumabas ang hospital, everything is paid. Why? God supplies. Ang sabi dito sa verse 9, sa verse 7, Every man according as the purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Let us invest our time, your time to God. Amen? Ephesians 5.16 says, can you please, may you please open Ephesians 5.16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. When are you going to give your time to the Lord? Invest your time. Ecclesiastes 12.1 says, Remember now the Creator in the days of the youth. When the evil days come not, nor do the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Kailan mo pa ibibigay ang buhay mo? When you cannot see, when you cannot read the Bible, when you cannot walk properly, when you cannot go soul winning, when are you going to give your time to the Lord? When are you going to give your life to the Lord? When are you going to invest your time? Ten years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago, five years ago, I can clean the whole building, the four floor building, from top to the ground floor by myself. Now I cannot. But at least I was able to use my time in the ministry. How about you? I was burdened and burdened this morning when I see in the choir. Where are the men? Ang daming lalaki. Hello? Nakikita ko, I'm observing. I'm a very observant people, person. When Heb is playing the piano, he goes back in floor to teach the children. Where are the men? Invest your time in the ministry. When are you going to invest? Remember now your creator in the days of the youth. When the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. You cannot sing in the choir in the future. Stop now. Right? You start giving your time to the Lord. Practice in the choir. When are you going to invest your voice to the ministry? When you are almost dead? Oh, come on, young people. Oh, come on, fathers. Now is the right time. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. God has given us quality or equal time. 360 days in one year. 7 days a week. 24 hours a day. We say, I do not have time. No. God give us equal time. 
24 hours a day. How are you going to divide your time? Reading the Bible, praying to God. When are you going to pray? When are you going to read the Bible? When are you going to invest your time? Now is the time. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen. But investing our time in the ministry is our choice. I still remember Pastor Dream preached to us in our learning center with 90 students or more. And he said, now is the right choice. Now is the choice. Hello? Ay nako yung people. Kailan ka pa magtatrabaho sa gawain ng Panginoon? Ngayon na. Hello? Choose. To invest the time that God has given us in the ministry while we have and while we can. Hello? Next, invest your talent. Ephesians 2 10 says, Open your Bibles in Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Look at the words good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Alam ko, sabi ni Pastor Jerry, Pastor, kailangan mag-diet ako kasi kailangan kong limit kasi meron sa amin ng ano yan? Biggest loser. Loser of weight. Wow, come on, that's good. I am not eating uh, one week, okay, breakfast and uh, lunch. I only eat in the evening. And I know something. Okay. Yes. But yesterday, I ate a lot. <laughs> Pastor Dream. Pastor Dream uh, brought us there in a, in a uh, what, do you call, what do you call that? New York pizza. Wow, it's good. But I said, I only eat rice and uh, chicken. No pizza. But I still gain weight again. But compared last few weeks ago, I have a big tummy. But now, a little bit, you know, manipis na, manipis. Okay? But it's good. But you know what? We have to invest our talent. Hello? Ephesians, we are His workmanship unto good works. Talent is something that you are in instinctually born with that gives us unique skills and abilities. Talent is apart from knowledge in that it is not a learned behavior, although it can be strengthened uh, and practiced. The Bible tells us that we are all born with distinct talents. I thank the Lord for my boys. They have talents different. Each one of them has a distinct talent. One can do karate. And my baby John, okay, he really sings, he really do the speech. But Jeremy is a little bit shy. His talent is different. But Jeremy said, Daddy, I want to be a missionary. Daddy, I want to be a missionary. And I said, I want you to be a missionary doctor. Okay? David then said, I want to sing. I want to do this and do that. Daddy, I want to do the speech. But how about you? Jeremiah has a talent which I don't have. Which sometimes I said, if I only have this talent of Jeremiah, I can do more. He's a good singer. I'm not. I am trying to uh, join the competition before sa bagong kampiyon. Hindi ako nananalo eh. Palagi ako talo. Third, fourth, fifth, wala. Si Jeremiah. First palagi yan. But we have to use our talents. Whatever talents we may have, we have to use it to God. Amen? Amen. Hello? Ano ang talent mo? Sabi ni David, David nyo ba? Nandun doon sa amin ngayon. Pastor, can I lead the, the choir? Our choir director is absent in Manila last uh, few weeks ago. David initiated, Pastor, I will do it. And I said, talent tong patang to, talent. talent. Merong talent. Okay, wala kami piano. Pianist, siya ang nag sa computer. May talent siya, right? I thank God for Brother David because he is a talented person and he used the talents in the ministry. Wala dito si David. Dapat merong sumunod kay David na magkakanta, magsasumbling na mas dalawa sila ni Brother. Right? Brother Joel. Give your talents to the Lord. Invest your talents to the Lord for His glory and for His honor. Amen. Amen. 
Go back to Ecclesiastes. Remember now the creator in the days of the youth. Well, the evil days come not. The evil days that the, 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 the King Solomon is saying there is when you are old, you cannot do it anymore. When your eyes cannot look, when your strength cannot do, cannot bring you to where God wants you to be. Use it now. Hello? Hello, young people. This is your day. This is your time, young people. These children on the, on the other side, they will follow you as you are faithfully serving the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Let us do that workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Let us do that good works. Brethren, let us use our talents in the ministry God has given us. When we use it for Him, for His glory, we will be blessed. And the bountiful blessings will come because He promised that to those who are faithful. Amen? Amen. Salamat, natutuwa ako. Andito pa yung mga doktora. Andito yung mga nahingil. Sabi ko, Lord, salamat. Andito pa sila. Salamat. Andito pa yung mga single na accountant. Kala ko, babalik yan sa Vietnam. Mapapangasawa ng Vietnamese. Wow. O, oh, pwede sabi ni Pastor. What else we can invest? Let us invest our treasure. Hello? Treasure? Pastor, wala akong treasure. Meron. Ang salapi na pinagkatiwala sa iyo ng Panginoon, ibigay mo bukod sa tithes. Ibigay mo your faith promise mo to support missions. Baka meron kang promise sa Panginoon to return your ano tawag doon? first fruits. Ibigay mo. That is what we call treasure. Hello? Treasure. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 to 6. Let us read the word of God. Open your Bibles in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 or 11, 1 to 6. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 to 6. Sabi ko nga itong Bible ko, ibibigay ko ito pag uwi namin eh. Hindi dito sa, sa Philippines kasi madaling bumili dito ng Bible. Sa Vietnam, I have to carry at least 30 Bibles for our children at school. If you want to share, you can. Just tell Pastor Jeremiah. Look at here. Ecclesiastes 12, 1 to 6. I will read and just follow. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven and also to eight, for thou knowest what evil shall be upon the earth. If, he doubt, if the doubts be full of rain, they empty themselves. They empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. As, the, as thou knowest, not what is in the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with a child, with child, even so, thou knowest that the works of God who maketh all. In the morning, so they, so they see, and in the evening, we hold not thine hand, for thou knowest that whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Cast thy bread upon the waters, whatever you have, you cast it to the Lord, amen? Use it for the Lord. Invest that treasure that you have. This is a blessing that I want you to share. I want to share with you. Before we went to Vietnam, okay, uh, a friend, uh, a man of God, okay, who was used by God for me to surrender myself for full-time server service. He went to Bethany during the conference, and I met him there again. And he and I said, Pastor, can I pass by your country and preach the word there in your church before going to Vietnam? He said, Pastor, missionary child, of course you will be in our church. We arrived there at midnight. He picked us up in the airport. Okay, from the airport and uh, take us to his house. And you know what happened? My desire always is to give. Before I preached that evening, he gave us a lot of money. Which I think, is this really for us? I told my wife, we're on the bed already. We counted a lot of money. I called immediately Pastor Nable and I said, Pastor, we are not in the field yet. I receive a lot of money. I want to return the things for God. 
So when I said, well, you can do it, but the priority is the ministry there in Vietnam. Do you know how much? Baka malula kayo pag sinabi ko. It's $10,000. Before I preached that evening, a person gave me a $10,000. laki! Right? But our intention is for the ministry. I thank God for that person who gave that treasure for the ministry. But how about us today? Are we willing to give that treasure back to God? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness are of the world and they that dwell therein. Come on. Why do we need to invest our treasure in heaven? Open your Bibles in Matthew 6, 21 and 22. 20 to 21 rather. Matthew 6, 20 to 21. The word of God says, Matthew 20, or 6, 20 to 21. Do you know this verse, right? But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust that corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Our heart is in the ministry. We give our life, not only our treasure in the ministry, because I believe that all the things that we have comes from the Lord. So what? I will be in heaven. To some of us, hindi natin pinibigay ang lahat, kaya ang puso natin nandun doon. Sa treasure na meron tayo. Hello? God gave me a farm. Before I became a missionary, I have that when I work in Korea. And according to my old pastor in Mindanao, he said, Brother John, the, the portion that you bought has a treasure. I am a sheta treasure. I said, it's okay, never mind. If there is a treasure, it is the Lord's. Hello? But if we have the treasure, I will use the treasure in the ministry in Vietnam. We might have a big building so we can start a school big schools so we can reach out more Vietnamese if ever but how about now the most important thing time is now we have to invest our treasure to the Lord look at that go back to the verse again lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust that corrupt and where thieves break through or steal and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust that corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there where your heart be also. Where is your treasure now? And where is your heart now? Maybe your treasure is your wife. Maybe your treasure is your car. Maybe your treasure is your house. Maybe your treasure is your, is your Salisari store. You cannot leave the Salisari store because you have something to sell. And you cannot go to church. Give it to God. Hello? Uh, Amen? Amen? Maybe your treasure is your girlfriend. Give it to the Lord. Maybe your treasure is your boyfriend. Give it to the Lord. Ayong treasure mo ito. Give it to the Lord. Amen? The real treasure or measure of our wealth is how much we would be worth if we lost all our money. I lost all the money that I saved when I worked in Korea when I was in the Bible school. But God is giving back to me again. Hello? Come on. Come on. When you give it to God, God will give it back to you little by little. It depends on how faithful you are in the ministry. It depends on how you are going to use that treasure. Because if you will use that for the world, God will not give it back to you. Hello? Ang treasure namin sa Vietnam, okay? Ang kaluluwa. We are contented with that motorbike. 10 years old motorbike or 11 years old now. Ang balat ko hindi pantay because of driving motorbike. But God is blessing us. Amen. The Lord Jesus said, Lay not up for yourself treasure upon earth where moth and rust that corrupt and where thieves break through or steal and steal but lay up for your treasures in heaven the bible this morning that's in the sunday school is a very good lesson 
But we believe the Bible that is the Word of God. But why is it that many times when it talks about giving, it's hard to believe? Aren't you glad that you have the Bible, the instructions for us to be blessed? Amen. We have to be glad. We have to be happy. Because when we follow this, we will have all the blessings from God. Amen? Amen. Young people, start giving your gifts to the Lord. Number two, let us give thanks and improve our service in the ministry. Hello? Hello? Kung noon, nagsiservice yung asang Panginoon. Okay, okay lang ito. Malay na ako. Hindi na ngayon. Dapat 2008-19 na. Our goal in Vietnam is to have the great faith in 2019 and grow in the Lord and have that faith because if we have that faith, we can conquer, we can even move that mountain. How about us? Our goal dapat yung last year, dapat na overcome natin. Our giving last year, naglumaki na dapat. Our service is better that last year is supposed to be low. Come on. Dapat nagsusol winning ka na. Dapat may discipleship ka na. So, you can bring someone. Halika dito. Punta ka sa church namin. Pagpunta tayo, mag-service tayo. Kunta tayo sa choir. Mag-sol winning tayo. Punta tayo sa campus ministry. Punta tayo sa bus. Mag-praise tayo sa bus. He's my leader in the bus ministry. You remember I preached? When he preached in the bus, all the saliva will, Hala! Nagbigay ako ng trucks. And the alley will say, Tutoy, may pera dito pang bilhin nyo ng tinapay pa po. Come on! Right? Natuwa ako last Wednesday. I met this. She is one of the product of our campus ministry. Pastor J.P. is the product of our campus ministry. Ngayon pa hindi kayo magka-campus ministry? Come on, young people, college students, high school students, go back! campus ministry. Sino dito nagka-campus ministry? Wala. Patay. Improve our service to God. Let us give our best to the Lord in the ministry. 1 Samuel 12, 24. Open your Bibles. Kung gusto nyo dumami kayo dito, kasi sa Vietnam gusto kami dumami. Kaso ang hirap, a challenge that we need to 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 do. Dito hindi mahirap ang pag-soul winning. You can preach in the street. You can preach in the market. You can preach in the bus. You can preach in the campuses. Bakit hindi natin magawa ito? Pambira. Gusto nyo bumalik ako dito? Magka-campus na yun. Hindi ako nagbibiro. If God will take me back to the Philippines, I will do. I am trying to go to the universities in Vietnam. How? I am observing. Sabi ko kay Brother David. Brother David, pagbalik ko. Puntahan natin yung mga universities na malapit sa atin. Just to look and see how we can do, how can we connect to these students in the university. We can. Because all things are possible with God, right? Ang kailangan lang, mayroon tayo ng vision. Without that vision, without the biblical understanding, we cannot reach out the world. Hello? 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. First Samuel 12:24. Look, come on, young people, mother, father, give. Let us give our best. Let us improve our service to the Lord in the ministry. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. The Bible said here. Look at here. Only fear the Lord and serve Him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things He has done for you. Wow, look at that. For great things he has done to you. I still remember the first day I received the Lord Jesus Christ. When I, when someone shared to me the gospel, I really would want to commit suicide. But thank God, it's the great things in my life. Uh -huh. How about you? That is why I love campus ministry. You know why? Because I got saved through the campus ministry. If I commit suicide during the day, I will not be here today. But because God love, it is the great things in my life. That's why I want to serve God with these students. You know, Brother Ezekiel Wei, he's almost the same story with me. And I thank God he got saved. 
I reach him through in this love. How about you? Let us give our best. The Bible said in Romans, present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind every day, every second, every minute, every hour. Because your mind is corrupted already. That is why we have to read the Bible every day. We have to meditate the Word of God every day. Because when you do not preach, when you do not read the Bible, your minds will think something. Oh, I like the lady I saw. With backless, with jubeless. Right? Oh, di ba? Kasi our minds are corrupted. That is why we have to read the Word of God every day. Amen. Are we thankful to God for what He has done unto us? Well, I know that we are all thankful here. But sometimes only in our mouth. Because true thankfulness, gratefulness is giving your best to whom you serve, right? Giving your best. That's why we have to improve. In 2019, you are coming late. In, in 18, in 2019, you're trying to come in the church before the service. So you can fellowship, right? I thank God for Pastor Jeremiah. He said, I said, Pastor, what time is the service again? Pastor said, you need to be there even before 9.30 to fellowship. Because the fellowship, we can encourage one another, right? Hello, Brad, how are you? I'm going to go to the house, right? You're going to go to the house, right? You're going to go to the house, right? You're going to go to the house, right? You know, we're going to go to the church, right? So we're going to go to the house, right? Right, Pastor Umlas? Oh, it's big, right? It's big, right? It's big, right? Daddy! Ang lit-lit niyan. Pag pumunta ko sa bahay nila, sinasama ko ni Pastor Joy. Ngayon, pinata na. Sasabihin niyan, Pastor, in 2019, I will prove my service to the Lord. I will come on time. I will be the Sunday school. And when the pastor see me, he will be encouraged because I'm there before the time. Right? Hello? Alam ko naman, nagtatry tayo. Kaso matraffic. Diba? Pero, alam niyo, Pwede natin gawin hindi tayo malay. Kahit na ma-traffic. Ayaan mo yung traffic na yun. Alam ko, na-traffic na yung TV kangina eh. Alam niyo yun? <laughs> Di ba? Sa sunlight, sunlight. Normal yung traffic. Pero iwasan natin yung traffic, right? Sa Vietnam, nagka-traffic na rin. Kasama yung dami sasakyan ngayon eh. Tumadami na sasakyan, yung kotse. Kasi siyempre, wala silang kotse before. Ngayon, pwede silang bumili. Traffic na rin. Pero ang kagandahan, now overcome pa rin yung traffic. Hindi sila na late. Why? They want to serve the Lord better. Hello? May papadala ulit kami dalawang young people sa Bethany if they pass the training in Vietnam. Dalawang Bible school students. Sa amin, walang traffic. Sa bahay namin, pag sinabing traffic, lagot ka bukas. Okay? Brethren, let us improve our service in the ministry. Number three, which is the last. Kaso may sub-points pa to eh. Let us give thanks to God and increase our giving. Pag last year, piso ang giving mo. Dapat ngayon, dollar na. Amen? Pag ang giving mo last year, isinti mo, ngayon, peso na. Pag ang giving mo last year, kukunti, ngayon, malaki na. Amen? Amen? Increase our giving. Second Corinthians chapter nine six, going down to ten. Hello. Kasi yung mga pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon? Walang sumagot. Amen. Pastor, ano to? Second Corinthians chapter nine. Alam nyo, may illustration ako mamaya para ma-challenge kayo kung paano kayo magbigay sa Panginoon. Amen? Second Corinthians chapter nine. Verse 6, going down. Okay, I will read, just follow. But this I say, he which soweth his parent, shall reap also his parent. He which soweth bountifully, shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Look at that. Verse 6 and 7. But 
I say he will sow it sparingly. What is the other word for sparingly? Kuriputingly, right? Unti utingly. Yun ang sparing. And he will sow it bountifully, shall reap also bountifully. Come on. Gusto niyo pagpalain ng Panginoon? Hello? Naniniwala ba kayo sa Biblia? Yeah. Naniniwala ba kayo na sa pagbibigay may pagpapala? Yeah. Tinatagan natin ang ating pagbibigay para lumaki rin ang pagpapala. Amen? Yeah. Hello? Amen. Humina ba? <laughs> Amen? Amen. Dagdagan natin, we have to increase our giving to the Lord. Why? That is the promise of God. I will give again another illustration. <laughs> Ito, bigay ito. Magkano to? I do not know. Sabi ko, Lord, wala na akong pambigay sa offering. Sabi ng, pumunta lang sa amin. Yung Amerikano, pumunta sa amin. Nag-stay for how many weeks? Sabi ng Amerikano, Pastor, pwede ako maglinis ng floor? Can I clean your floor? The, the, the floor of the auditorium? Can I clean the stairs? I said, no, it's okay. Of course, I'm sure. He's a visitor. But he said, I want to clean. He saw my laptop with all the masking tape and discuss tape. <laughs> yes. And after the service, he said, Pastor, can I talk to you in your office? I said, okay. By the way, wala nga si Pastor ng office eh. Alam niyo ba, when I come here, I'm burdened. Your pastor doesn't have an office. Dapat kayo mag-initiate noon. Bibigyan niyo si Pastor ng office. Magkano lang ang office po? Tinignan ko na yung before dyan, no? Sorry, kasi ano ko yan eh. As in, anak ko yan siya eh. Pag nakikita ko ngayon siya dito, sabi, ano ang magagawa? Tinignan ko na, pwedeng gawin ang office ni Pastor Jeremiah Arboleda. Pun sa lahat. Hello? So, go back to the, go back to the sharing. Sabi ng, ng bisita namin, Pastor, can I talk to you in your office? Why? I, do I have a problem? Pastor, no, I want to talk to you. There is a blessing. Blessing? Hmm? Yes, let's talk to your office. Sabi niya, Pastor, can I take you to the, the center of Vietnam where we can see something? I can buy you a laptop. What? A laptop? God, talk to me. Wala akong pagbili. Pero ang binigay niya, sabi niya sa akin, choose the best. Because I'm doing, the, I'm doing this for my best God. Wow! Come on! Sabi ko, uh, uh, I am praying that in the future I can have an iPod. Let's go! We go around the mall, okay? And he said, do you have the number one Apple? What do you want, Pastor? The, 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 what do you call that? I don't know, MacBook? What's it? I like something that I can bring anywhere so when I preach I can use it. Pastor, choose the best. We went to the mall. Okay, there is no available. He said, I want you to do the best. Choose the best. Okay, sabi ko, Pastor, uh, sir, pwede na ito? Can I have this? What is that? He said, silver. No, I want you to have the gold. That is why I chose this gold. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Why? He gives his best to the Lord. Yeah. You can do that to Pastor Jeremiah as well. If you love the Lord, do your best to the Lord. Increase your giving. Amen? Amen? Our giving, this would be a bigger than last year because your faith, I believe, is now growing. Right? Okay. Hindi naman kayo nananatiling bata. Dapat ang giving nyo noon, ngayon mas malaki na. Kasi lumaki kayo. Right? Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Sa katuturong ni Pastor Jeremiah, hindi ka ba lumago sa pananampalataya? Hello? Yeah. Lumago ka, di ba? So, dapat ang giving mo, lumaki. Hindi lumiit. Lumiit, lumiit. Hindi, walang pananampalataya na dapat lumiit. Dapat lalaki yan. Amen? Amen? Dapat ang giving din natin, lumaki. It is really a blessing to be blessed and to increase our faith. And since our faith is growing, our giving must be growing. Amen. Ang faith promise ko last year is hindi katulad ngayon. Of course, Lumaki. Ang mga giving ng bata before, 1,000 do, 2,000 do, ngayon hindi. Sabi ko, all your money, before we came here, all your money in your bank, what is that bank? Piggy bank, uh, circle bank, take it out and put it in the offering. Yung mga bata, masayang nagbibigay. 
Because we have to train our children. We have to train ourselves, young people. Nana and Tata, if we want blessing, more blessings from God, we have to give more. Amen? Increase our giving in the ministry because this is the ministry of God. Actually, if we are faithful in our giving, increase our giving, then God will increase His blessing to you and to me. Hello? Where, when, are we going to practice our giving? Paul concludes his appealing by pointing to the benefits the Christian will reap as a result of generous giving. There is an accounting technology that says, don't count your chickens or the chicks before they hatch. Sa accounting, si Ma'am Jezreel, accounting yan. Di ba accounting ka, no? Sabi ng teacher namin, huwag mong bibilangin ang piso kung hindi pa nabibiak ang itlo. Miss Ashley, do you understand? Don't count the chicks until it hatch. Hatch. Tama ba English po? Sa so, ilang sinasabi ni Miss Arlene, we are trying to teach English. But and our English is not the best. But we are trying to reach out. Look, we have to do our best. Amen? In like fashion, Paul sums up the benefits of the liberality by means of saying, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Right? right? If you plant a little, you will harvest a little. If you plant a lot, you will have a lot of harvest. It's a very simple direction. Number, I have the three uh, subpoints here. Giving is an individual matter that is settled in the privacy of our own heart. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. It should be from the heart as you purpose your heart to give. It is your individual decision. Number two, giving requires determination. Kahit wala kang pambigay, you believe God will give you something so you can give. Hello? Right? It is what we call a determination. Paul says that giving is to be based on a planned decision. You plan in your mind. You plan in your heart. I will give something to my pastor. I will give something in the church. I will give something bigger than last year in the ministry of God. And let us see, giving is private. When I say private, it is between you and your God. Well, sometimes in the church, your pastor, because of that excitement and to challenge all of you, he will say, a person give this to me. It's fine, but to you, it's you and God. It's between you and your God. But how? 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Okay, will you please say that, see that, and read? 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Remember this, we cannot outgive the Lord. Ibigay mo man ang buhay mo, kulang pa. Alam niyo ba yun? Even when you give your whole life, that's not enough compared to what God has done to you and to me. Right? Because He gave all. He gave His life. How can you overcome or surpass the giving of God? He is the creator of the earth and the universe, and yet He gave Himself for you and for me. How can you give better than God? But we can do our best. Our best. This morning is the decision time. I hope that this 2019, the first month pa lang, you still have to have the decision, Lord, I will improve my service. I will increase my giving to you because I know you are able and He is sufficient to give you what you need. One of a Vietnamese member said, Pastor, Sir John, every salary I have to separate for my mother, for my mother-in-law, for my family. What I mean is, for me and my husband and the child, I said, just return the time. 
just give what belongs to the Lord. She doesn't want. Now, I believe she experienced something. She did not follow what I said. Look, we have this living word of God. When the Bible said, we have to do, you do. Why? For your own good. In my 30 plus years being a Christian, I never experienced that God did not supply what I need. Do not say I cannot give because I have the budget. Listen, no, give it to the Lord. I know I made it over time. Today is your decision time. Lord, I want to improve my service. I want to express my love to you. And I want to improve and increase my giving. Lord, help me. I want to commit it today. Help me, Lord, to fulfill it. The decision is yours. Shall we all stand up and let's pray?